Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. The main thing that we're going to check out on today's episode is new voice lines from old characters. If you guys are confused about what I'm talking about, let me tell you right now. Here it goes. Previously, I didn't have a male dying from poison food voice recording. So male students were using female voices while dying from poison. I received male voice recordings for the circumstance, so male students now use a male voice when dying from poison. The two science club boys who have conversations about magical girl pretty Miyuki now have another conversation about another fictional franchise that exists in Yandere Sim's world after cleaning time on Monday. When leaving Yandere-chan's room, the number of options that you are presented with is different. This is related to one of Osana's events. And this is the big one, guys, the Chub Chub, the one with the vein right down the middle. It says, every day, Sakyu and Inkyu sit on a bench and have a conversation with each other. These conversations are private. If they know that you are eavesdropping on them, they will stop talking. There are meant to be 50 conversations, god damn, over the course of the game. Because the Osana demo is only five days long, there will only be five conversations in the demo. If the police visited school on the previous day, the sisters will skip their daily conversations and talk about the police investigation instead. This means that if you want to hear all 50 conversations, you will have to avoid ever letting the police visit the school over the course of the game. Like I said, 50 conversations? God damn! If one of the sisters has witnessed Yandere Chun committing a crime, they will have a completely different type of conversation and will never have a lore conversation again. The sisters now have a new routine at school. Instead of just heading to the rooftop and spending all day talking there, they now walk around to various locations as if they are searching for something. Sakyu now has a voice line if she catches Yandere-chan trying to steal her ring at lunchtime. Okay, so we are gonna check that out right now. Sakyu and Inkyu are up to something. We're about to figure it out right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First thing we're gonna check out is the new option when we leave our room. It says school, town, basement, and question mark, question mark, question mark. Let me know down low what you guys think is gonna be there. Do we go to Osana's house and whoop her orange you glad to see me hair ass? Do we end up sneaking into Senpai's backyard and watch Osana and Senpai doing stuff that we're not supposed to know about? I have no idea, but apparently it's Osana related. Let me know what you think those question marks are about. We're about to head to school and we're gonna check out all those voice lines. Specifically, the people dying from the poison, because I didn't know the male students died with a female voice, so they were like, I. How do I poison this asshole's bento again? I laugh, right? I think I laughed. There you go. Ryoto Ipongo heard a little giggle. He's like, oh my god, giggles turn me on. They turn my flaming red hot Cheeto hair on. All right, so let's poison the bento. Hey, 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 asshole, asshole. Yeah, Ryoto, come over here, my guy. Come over here, my redheaded guy. Walk your ass over here. Yeah, there you go, bitch boy. No, over here, Ryoto. Son of a. Son of a ass! There you go. I need him to come around the corner like the hoe that he is. Come on. Come around the corner. Okay, there you go. He went around. Um, his food's right here. Poison it. There you go. Hey, hey, mind your own damn business. Everybody. Does everybody have eyes in the back of their freaking heads? Okay, so he's gonna eat the bento, and now he's gonna die with the appropriate voice. If anybody was curious about that, you sick freaks. <coughs> Oh yeah, <coughs> my mans. Oh my god, are you okay? Obviously he's not, but I will say though that he died so freaking fabulous. All right, but anyway guys, I fast forwarded to after cleaning time on Monday. If you guys wanted to hear what two virgin boys have to say about some fictional franchise in this game, we're about to figure it out right now. I think that they come down this hallway. This is where they meet up. I smell them. Where are they? I think they're on their way. No, guys, fellas. Don't embarrass me. Whoa, what in the world? What in the holy dickens is this? Bro, who's, who's grandma's in this urn? Like, who cremated this hoe? Wait, this is actually pretty legit on my titties, dude. But anyway, I gotta find out where those guys are. Guys, I cannot find these ass master 9000s. Hold on, let me see nurse booty one more time. Aw, uh, yeah. All right, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That ass is looking flatter than soda that's been open for a few hours. Where are these guys, though? My bad, guys. They talk about it over here. These two assholes. Oh, my God. It was them. It was them all along. They have a conversation right here. I actually have to restart that, and then we have to listen on their conversation. My bad, guys. All right, my bad about that, guys. It said science boys, and I was looking around the school like a chicken with its head cut off. It's almost 6 in the morning. I have both of my eyes barely open like I've been on some hardcore stuff. So the other guy's gliding towards here with his feet touching. Like, who do you think you is, baby boy? But I'm going to shut up right now, and we are going to listen in on this conversation. 
Start over from the beginning and explain it again. Just gonna eavesdrop. Slowly this time. And look at these All dudes. Alright, so, you remember that What's old up, fairy guys? tale about a secret magic academy hidden somewhere in Europe? A school for witches and wizards? Harry Potter? Yeah, it's a classic bedtime story. Harry Potter? Hundreds of years. You Harry always say Harry. Well, in the 1980s, when Psycho Corp started making video games, they created a game series called Yonvania, which is based on that old fairy tale. It takes place in the Magic Academy. Ah. Yeah, I've heard of it. The tenth game in that series, Senpai of the Night, is the most famous one. I that want game Senpai was an of the Night. You know what I'm saying? Masterpiece. It's the undisputed game of the year for 1997. If it's such an old game, why is it so popular right now? The remake just came out. A retro classic remastered to meet the standards of modern gamers. It's a dream come true. I've sunk about 16 hours into it so far. It's basically flawless. Kiss me, my love. But tongue me, my love. Give me that now? tongue, my love. In a recent interview, the writer for the original game was asked about the inspiration for the game story. <laughs> he gave an answer that differed from anything he ever said in the past. I love the you. The writer said that the game story was given to him I'll eat by your someone robo who ass. claimed to be a descendant of a witch that attended the magic I'll academy that several hundred ass. years ago. I'll eat your rubble ass. He flat out stated that the story in Senpai of the Night is non-fiction. It's an actual historical account of something that really happened hundreds of years ago. Oh yeah, your breath is hot. Boy. Just how Boy. I like it. That's not even the craziest mwah, part. Mwah. After being available oh, online for less than 24 hours, mwah. the interview was mwah. taken down and replaced mwah. with a version mwah. that didn't include mwah. the writer's mwah. statement. You can still read the original oh, version of the interview with archiving you're not tools, up? but the website is refusing to answer any inquiries about why the interview was edited and re-uploaded. <laughs> A lot of people suspect that PsychoCorp is trying to cover something up, like they're trying to to hide the fact that the Magic Academy was a real place that existed in the real world. Ooh, conspiracy! Wait, you don't actually believe that, do you? I know, well, get a little of this guy. Like you don't actually believe that, do you? Come on. Stop being a Chad, bro. Psycho Corp is just trying to wipe it away. Well, I mean, I, that's that's not really. Shut Stop. up. Stop. Think. Magic does not exist. Witches do not exist. Fairy tales are not real. Psycho Corp is just trying to avoid paying royalties to the. Senpai got that magic dirk. Case closed. Yeah, but. What, what, what if, like, man, hey, did you guys hear me? Fun it all, dude. Magic is real. I said Senpai got that magic dick. But anyway, for anybody that's interested in their story, that's exactly what they said. Don't mind me interrupting. You guys know I always talk over dialogue. The next thing that we got to do is the most important of all. We got to spy on the Basu sisters, and we got to see what they're up to on a daily basis. So it says, every day, Sakyu and Inkyu sit on a bench and have a conversation with each other. I mean, they're sisters, right? They can't talk at home. What, do they sit in silence and just stare at each other until they go to school? Like, damn, girls. But I'm going to follow these two sisters right now and they're walking awfully close to each other they're making me mighty suspicious i'm gonna fast forward time and we're gonna see what kind of shit they're gonna talk right now oh they're gonna talk their smack right here oh hey, yeah sister yes dear whoa, sister whoa, what the what the isn't it weird that? that there's an occult Roll club demon. in school Roll demon. like that she's I a demon we're afraid of the occult Oh God! I heard the that power the of Christ compels you. To reject the what proposal the? for an occult club. Oh my God! The headmaster himself Baby girl. authorized it personally. That's not normal. He said that there that, was that no ain't normal. I have a sister. Sisters don't do that. Fictional things in their But let's hear about time. what they're talking. I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> Bro, I feel like throwing holy water on that. Years, fewer and fewer people have been applying to become students at Academy. It's probably due guys, to the school's reputation I, I, for I strict rules, that. <laughs> harsh punishments. <laughs> And I, I don't even know what to say about that. The headmaster has been demon. making a strong effort to All turn to the school's demon. reputation around. He wants Academy to become known as a place where students have as much freedom as possible. How can she even That's pay attention to the conversation to with her sister just spinning like that? And bring our phones to school. The headmaster's new policy is to provide students with as much freedom as reasonably possible. Word. And that's probably why he authorized the occult club. Wow, sounds like a great guy. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, you that. seeing this? I know, right? I <laughs> Shit's crazy. Unsavory Baby girl's still spinning. Him. Really? Tell me, sister. Oh, Tell so me. there's rumors about the headmaster. Now, now, dear sister. 
Gossip is quite distasteful. Let's not speak ill of others. Oh. Aw, you're no fun. Oh, interesting. Okay, what is wrong with this sister? Guys, she's like next level demon. I'm gonna sit right here. Maybe they're still gonna talk. Oh god, no, oh, she was coming. Oh, I thought she was gonna kill me. I thought she was gonna eat me. It said in the notes that they're looking for something. Hold on. Can I find it? Maybe they're hiding something in one of the places? But yeah, they're checking these two things out. They're definitely not gonna find anything there. On the top of this nipple-looking rock. Wait, that's not even a nipple-looking rock. Looking like a chode. What the heck are they looking for, though? So they basically checked the perimeter of the school. And as you guys can see, they're looking for something. What they're looking for, I have no idea. I'm not a freaking detective. I'm just some random-ass dude just playing this game like you guys. You think I know all the answers? But they're looking for something. Let me know what you guys think they're looking for. Can I hide behind here? Oh, no, I can sit my candy ass on the bench. I can sit like a good old girl. Okay, yeah, the main fountain is the last place that they check before they start going on repeat. So let's fast forward to the next time they have a conversation. Okay, so next time the sisters actually have a voice line is when I try to yoink the ring at lunchtime. We're gonna do it right in front of her face. Hey, that doesn't belong to you, put it back. Wait, I thought I stole the ring. That's it? I thought something was gonna happen. What in the damn? Hey, say something mean. Come on, scold me. Spin in circles again. Make me think you're a damn demon. Anything. All right, Basu's sisters are on their way back. Let me try stealing the ring one more time for the homie DJ. Screw! Hey, that doesn't belong to you. Put it back. What do you mean? Okay. It's put back. What the heck? You want me to voice the lines? Why aren't you talking? Speak to me! All right, you know what? Maybe the Monday lunchtime thing is glitched. I went to Tuesday. Let me see if they talk about some new stuff. And we're going to hide behind this big old bush. And let's see hey, what they sister? say. Yes, oh my gosh, she's sister. still spinning around. Jesus. I saw a baseball bat and soccer balls in the gymnasium. But this school doesn't have a baseball diamond or a soccer field. Look at I'm that. Goodness gracious. Can How can you use? focus? This school doesn't have enough space for most sports God, activities. Damn. So Akademi has a deal with a nearby school. Uh oh. Sports nope. teams from Akademi are allowed to You're practice in that slipping. school's field. Get as long here. as they bring their own Get equipment. That's why you can find sports equipment being stored here. Oh, oh so if I stand in a certain sense. spot, she spins. But this awesome. school doesn't have a baseball <laughs> team or a soccer team. No spinning? Not spinning. this year. No but spinning? in previous years, spinning. those teams did exist. I like it when she spins. I heard that it's prestigious to be part of a sports club. Why are so few people interested in sports at this school? For over three decades, Akademi presented itself as a prestigious school for young intellectuals. Science and technology-focused clubs have always been more popular than sports clubs at this school. Oh, so like, this is a school for nerds? For a long time, that was how the general public perceived Akademi. However, the headmaster has been attempting to rebrand Academy as a place where all types of people are welcome. I've seen the How does she know so much stuff about the headmaster? I've never seen them playing any actual sports. The leader of the sports club wants to compete in triathlons at the Olympics, so she's been focusing on running, swimming, and biking. That's why the sports club specializes in those areas. Wow, you know everything, sister. Okay. So I'm pretty sure they're going to check the same fountains again and they're just going to go around to the same exact locations just looking around for something that they're looking in the school. Let me go to lunchtime again. Let me steal the ring and let's see what she says. All right, both sisters are having lunch again. This is Tuesday. Let me steal the ring. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. Put it back. Oh, come on, bro. Really? You know what? Screw you. All right, we went to Wednesday, guys. They're going to have a new conversation. Let's do it. Yes, dear sister. Oh, this time she's standing up. Ooh, ooh. Why is there a different logo on the gate above the school? The emblem oh above the God, school gate that. is the logo Yikes. of the Psycho Corporation. I'm gonna stand this way they this time. They originally built this school, oh, no. and they still fund it to I this didn't day. Want her to sit down. That's a technology company, right? Why would they build a school? The founder of Psycho Corp wanted to provide the best possible school experience for his daughter. So he ordered the construction of an entire academy, just for her. He let her design everything about it. From the shape of the building to the name itself. Wow, he sounds like a great dad. But why is this the first time I'm hearing about it? In modern times, the Psycho Corporation does not attempt to make Akademi part of its public image. Psycho Corp began distancing itself from Akademi starting in the early 90s. After a certain... 
controversy. Ooh, I like controversy. Ooh, sounds juicy. Ooh, tell me all I about like it, juicy. sister. Oh, sister. I like it, juicy. How many times must I tell you? Gossiping is quite unseemly. Really? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so I think they're done with this conversation. By the way, dear oh, sister. What? Oh. Psycho is a very important name in this world. If you speak as though the name is unfamiliar to you, you will draw a lot of suspicion. Got it. Thanks for looking out for me, sis. Okay, so we still have two more days of this, so we're going to find out more information. Why was the sister looking at me like that? Oh my god, that is cursed! That was the most cursed thing that I've seen in this game. All right, it's Wednesday. Let me steal the ring. Um, that doesn't belong to you. Put it back. Okay, let's go to Thursday. They're about to have their Thursday combo. I'm actually going to go to this bush this time, and I'm pretty sure nobody's going to spin. Yes, oh my god, they're sister. both spinning! I feel like this school is missing a bunch of But I can barely hear them. Like a boiler room, for but example. But they're spinning, though. Here we go. Function. There we go. There is a boiler room. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, girls. In fact, what the there heck? are many secret rooms. The school was designed so that anything irrelevant to the students would be hidden from playing. Wait, there's sight. secret rooms? Really? Oh my god, if future updates have secret rooms, time, that is gonna when be so good. Clean up I'm actually school. excited about that if that happens. However, after 6 p.m., when all the students are gone, a team of workers shows up to do maintenance and repairs that students wouldn't be able to take care of themselves. Interesting. Whoa, I didn't know that. It's another decision that was made by the young woman who this school was built for. When something about this school seems peculiar, the answer is usually the girl who designed this place wanted it to be that way. Hmm. Where is she now? That's a good question. Her last public appearance was around 30 years ago. What? She went missing? That's a pretty big deal. What happened to her? <laughs> Who knows? You can't fool me, sister. Whenever you laugh like that, it means you're hiding something. Okay, so there is possibly secret rooms in this school. Somebody comes after 6 p.m. and does some things that students can't take care of. That's actually the most interesting conversation they've had so far. Let me go to lunch. Maybe they'll have the voice lines. You know what? They're probably not going to have it. Let me just go to Friday and let's see what the final conversation is. All right, guys. It's Friday. Last combo. I'm going to stand in my new favorite spot sister. and let's listen in. Yes, dear sister. It's been a whole week and we still haven't found any sign of what we're looking for. Have patience, sweet sister. It's too soon to give up. We just have to keep looking. But I'm getting so bored here. So far, the only interesting thing we found is that girl. That girl? Hey, do you think she's one of them? Perhaps. What if she is? I suppose we might do something about it. <laughs> Sounds fun. What the? That's it? What girl are they talking about? They found that girl. Maybe they're talking about... No, they can't be talking about the placeholder girl. Are they talking about Oka? She's not even in the freaking school. They're talking about somebody that I should know about, but so many things happen in this game that I forget it all. You know, I can't remember every single thing that happens in this game. But who the heck are they talking about again? You know what? Who freaking cares? Let's steal the ring and let's see what they say. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. Put it back. Oh, what if I steal this? still walking around like that okay all right all right okay you want to play that game okay but the last thing that i want to check out guys before i end today's episode is that the sisters now have completely different conversations if they see me ending somebody's life Ooh, so i got the knife boo, and boom oh my god this can't be happening but it is what you gonna do about it gotta get to safety damn okay they just turned on the jets and they just got out of there sister there we go girl. yeah i'm quite surprised you got away with it Oh, they're talking about me. Here. Talking about Yanchan. She's a clever one. Knows how to cover her tracks. Hey, sis, should we do something about her? Oh yeah? No. I'm right here. Remember why we're here. Come get me. Okay, but... Don't worry, dear sister. I'll keep you safe. Always and forever? Always and forever. Oh my god, with your corny asses. Okay, so that's the conversation that they have. It says in the notes that they'll never have a type of lore conversation again. 
that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. That looks creepy as hell, by the way. If you guys have any theories about what these two sisters are talking about, let me know down low in the comments below. But if you guys are excited for more updates on this game in the future, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cubs, guys, is that dude!